NASA spacecraft that made history by collecting samples from that asteroid. Remember that? It's now facing an uncertain future. The OSIRIS-REx mission returned those samples last year. The next chapter is the OSIRIS Apex. Keep moving forward. It's at risk of cancellation, though. KGNN's Brie Pacelli explains what's at stake for science and for Tucson. OSIRIS Apex is led by researchers right here at the University of Arizona. The spacecraft is already on its way to asteroid Apophis, but whether the mission moves forward depends on Congress. Back in 2023, OSIRIS-REx successfully brought back a sample from asteroid Bennu, but with its main job complete, the spacecraft was repurposed for its next mission called OSIRIS Apex. A mission to send a spacecraft to an asteroid called Apophis. It is going to be rendezvousing with this asteroid in 2029 after after Apophis makes an exceptionally close encounter with the Earth. Researchers say this is a once in a lifetime chance to study how Earth's gravity could reshape an asteroid's surface and help us prepare for any future threats. This is just a really rare opportunity to study how Earth's gravity can alter an asteroid's surface and interior, and that has pretty important implications for planetary defense, understanding how we might someday mitigate a threat of a potentially hazardous asteroid that gets even closer to our planet. But despite being active and already en route, OSIRIS Apex is one of several NASA missions facing possible termination under the proposed 2026 federal budget. It's one of 19 active missions. So these are missions in flight that is slated for termination right now with the budget reductions that NASA is currently contemplating. The cancellation wouldn't just be a scientific Loss. It could have real financial consequences for Tucson and the state. This mission is a $200 million project and $75 million of that comes to the state of Arizona. If you would like to support OSIRIS Apex, you can reach out to local representatives to help push this mission forward. Reporting from the University of Arizona, Brie Pacelli, KGUN 9. Kind of scary to think about. I know. Happen. And this mission has been in the works for so long. I think they started it in around 2004, 2005. I mean, Danny actually told me she began working on this when she was a student at U of A. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, when she was 18 years old. So it's been in the works for a long time. It's already in route. So. You know, why, why cancel? A lot of things that NASA yeah. does to have real world implications and, and right. different things that are, that are yeah. side effects yeah. that then affect our everyday lives. And so yeah. it's it's for the direct mission, but also all the other things that could happen that we yeah. could learn. Yeah, and she was also telling me to study something like this. This only happens every 7,500 years. Oh, wow. So oh, wow. it's really okay. once in a lifetime. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, once in many, many, many yeah, lifetimes. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Wow, <laughs> wow. Brie, thank you.